ओके सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे डी टी आर एस सेशन ऑफ लुकमान आई एस एंड इट इज द क्लास हंड्रेड एंड नाइन एज ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी दैट द लीड टॉपिक विच वी हैव सिलेक्टेड टूडे इज द इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एंड दैट इज द ग्वालियर घर आना एंड बेसिकली वॉट वी डू इन दिस सेशन जनरली वी टेक टेन एम सी क्यू करेंट अफेयर बेस्ड एम सी क्यू विच इज विच कवर्स ऑल ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन फ्रॉम योर रेस्पेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट्स ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज डी टी आर एस क्लासेस लेट इज फर्स्ट दैट नाउ वेरी फर्स्ट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द सेशन इट हैज बीन अ डेली ट्रेंड दैट वी ट्राई टू गिव यू सम ऑफ द फेमस कोटेशंस विच इज रिलेटेड टू एंड विच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर इथिक्स पेपर एंड फॉर योर एस ए पेपर लेट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड इट द रीजनेबल मैन अडेप्ट हिमसेल्फ टू द वर्ल्ड द अनरीजनेबल वन परसिस्ट इन ट्राइंग टू अडेप्ट द वर्ल्ड टू हिमसेल्फ therefore all progress depends on the unreasonable man so here in this basically this saying what we are understanding is that two kind of personalities are there one who adapts to the world and the second is the category who tries and who says that an individual with some kind of grit some kind of determination who tries to change the world so two different or two dichotomy based personalities are being reflected here so one who adapts to the environment and the another who tries to change the environment or tries to bring a change so this can be useful for your upsc gs paper and for your ethics paper also so if you are writing about this first you write about or give examples about such per such persons like who bring out changes in themselves for example the civil servants itself they have to accommodate themselves towards their demand and the need of the society and the need of the administration the need of the politics that is something and sometimes they have to go against that so they don't want to have some kind of corruption they don't want to favor all these things so they have to take a stand in that so that way you try to you know understand and write about write about this sings now let us move towards the question yes chirag good evening so these are the 10 topics we have selected today gwalior gharana world food india so all these are there let us take it one by one so the very first topic is the with reference to the gwalior gharana consider the following statement and similar to that art and culture this is one of the famous topic or one of the prominent topic in history which you study from where the upsc asks the question whether it is related to your static portion or whether it is related to your current affair portion okay so anyway the upsc can ask the gwalior gharana is one of the oldest musical gharana one of the oldest musical gharana of the hindustani classical under the ages of nasir uddin shah in the 16th century so if we talk about the development of the classical music basically we have two category okay we generally one is the hindustani classical music and the second is the carnatic music system okay so and within this hindustani classical music the gwalior gharana falls now if we talk about its development its origin that from what period it is yes it originated during the medieval period but not during the reign of the nasiruddin shah but basically it is assumed that man singh had played one of the prominent role in the development of this gharana okay so this statement is incorrect sangeet shiromani and sangeet chudamani are the music treatises in sanskrit associated with this gwalior gharana this is right there is uniformity in the style of singing in the gwalior gharana with no inclusion of any foreign elements now if when we study this performing arts and within that we study the musical gharana basically we have the hindustani classical music and the carnatic music what we find is that while hindu sorry this carnatic system carnatic music gharana and this hindustani classical music gharana basically here the hindustani classical gharana has some kind of influence of the foreign elements now what are those foreign elements for example the sufi 
so they had certain kind of influences while if we talk about this carnatic music system they don't accept any foreign influences okay remember that right so there is uniformity in the style of singing in the gwalior gharana with no inclusion of any foreign element so there is diversity there is not inclusive so, you know single uniform system is there so you need to remember that this statement is incorrect khayal singing emerged from dhrupad under the aegis of gwalior gharana while incorporating the elements of qawwali so as i had said that they had borrowed some elements from the sufism also and this qawwali is basically borrowed from there hence this statement is also correct so what is the correct answer option 2 now there is a question that how you will prepare this art and culture section so if we talk about that from where you need to prepare your first source is ccrt website okay what you need to prepare your first source should be ccrt web website from there you can go and you can find out that lots of performing arts visual art and information related to art and culture is there and the second source from where you should study is the ncert what is that ncert it is the class 11th ncert that is the knowledge tradition and practices in india which gives you a lot of information about this art form which will definitely cover your art and culture portion okay so keep this thing in mind you have two two sources are there where from you need to prepare and it will be you know complemented by your current affairs daily current affairs so that way you should prepare your art and culture section okay remember that now let us move to the another question so why it was in news you can see it that unesco declares gwalior the city of music and in that context the gwalior gharana is there okay now with reference to the world food india 2023 event consider the following statement with reference to the world food india 2023 event consider the following statement okay this is the second edition of the event which has been organized after more than 5 years it is an exhibition come investment summit to showcase the food diversity of india it has been organized by the ministry of consumer affair food and public distribution okay so we have to identify the correct statement so yes if we talk about that yes it was a second edition for the first time it was held in 2017 and now it is happening in 2023 okay where it is being held earlier it, the place was known as the pragati maidan okay and now it is known as the bharat mandapam okay so you need to remember that yes it is an exhibition come investment summit this statement is also correct it has been organized by the ministry of consumer affairs no here there is the catch it is by ministry of food processing industry ministry of food processing industry organizes this event so this statement is correct so what is the correct answer option b okay yes so let us move to another question so you can see that why in news it is there okay now a uh, many time you people say that sir what is the you know how to prepare basically the science and the current the science portion how it should be prepared so this is the way you don't yes you need to have some basic understanding of the science but it is more technological oriented its application oriented you need to and you have to cover the especially the current affair that what news are there like here one of the application of the tellurium is there okay so it is used with cadmium and mercury to form photosensitive semiconductors it is used in vulcanizing rubber and in blasting caps for explosives it is used as a coloring agent in ceramics 
it is added at a very low level to lead to decrease the corrosive action of the sulfuric acid in batteries. So, if we study about tellurium, basically it is having the property of the metal and the non-metal. So, it is known as basically a metalloid. Okay. So, and if we study about all the properties, basically all these four properties are correctly mentioned. Okay. So, here it is a very fact based thing is there and there is no option in this. You need to remember this. You have to memorize this and now there can be a question that how many things we, will, we have to memorize. I have already given you the hint that whatever there was in the current affair for the past at least one and a half year, you should make a notes of that and then you should keep revising those things. So, whenever you get any element why it was in news, what are its properties, what are its features. These are the things and these are the areas from where you need to prepare when you are studying all these science and science topics, okay? especially these kind of element based topics. Okay? So, focus upon this. So, here all the four points are correct. Okay? Now, so, evidence found for the production of tellurium in the neutron star merges. So, this is there, this is the context from where it has been taken. Now, in the context of solving the problem of mosquito bond disease, what are the effects of Wolbachia on its host? Feminization, increased resistance to pathogens, and cytoplasmic incompatibility. So, basically, Due to the rise of the cases in the dengue, not only in India, but in the other parts of the world also and many other diseases like the Zika, all this chikungunya, all these kind of diseases which are virus diseases. Lots of pressure is there upon the governments and many other founding institutions are there which are after this that how to control or how to curb these diseases. Okay? So, one of the method which has been devised is the Wolbachia. What is basically this Wolbachia? It is a type of bacteria. Okay? It is a type of bacteria and this bacteria is introduced in the one of the mosquitoes. Okay? A male mosquito will be there. It will be introduced in that mosquito. Now, that mosquito will breed with basically the dengue causing. The dengue causing, all of you know that it is only the female mosquito which is the carrier of this disease. Okay? So, they will mate with that female mosquito. Now, there is an when this Wolbachia is this mating will take place, then the transfusion will be there, then it has some kind of impact upon that. Okay? Yes, yes, Vijaylal, you are correct. So, basically, it will have some kind of impact. Now, what are those impact? The first impact is the cytoplasmic incapability. So, means a male bacteria, a male which has been infected with this Wolbachia bacteria, if he mates with that female counterpart, then there are chances that that male will also become sterile and the female will also become sterile. And once the male and the female become sterile, the population will not grow for the mosquitoes. That is one of the way. Increased resistance to pathogens. So, how basically these mosquitoes, you know, they bite and first of all, they will bite an infected person. Then that mosquito will carry that pathogen or that, you know, that will carry that virus and that virus now then will, it will be transmitted from one person to another as now the mosquito will again bite a new person in that way. So, increase resistance to pathogens. So, for example, if for example, the female was female mosquito is there and it has you know mated with the with the male mosquito who has been infected with Wolbachia bacteria, it will develop some kind of resistance towards this virus, towards this virus. Okay? So that is another way. So when again it will bite another person, it will already have that resistance. Okay? So, in that way, one of the thing is that increase the resistance to the pathogens and feminization. Now, what is this? Basically, one of the adverse impact 
not we can will say that the adverse impact but one of the impact of this wolbachia bacteria is that the male mosquitoes are transformed into female mosquitoes so when the male population will not be there how the reproduction will take place so that is the way and it has a very less amount of negative impact in the humans also so that is why this method is preferred this wolbachia okay so all these three points are correct feminization increase the resistance to pathogens and the cytoplasmic incompatibility so here the correct answer is option c yes yes it is right chirag it is responsible for the zika virus also and for the dengue also for the chikungunya all these things are basically these female mosquitoes are responsible for that yes you are right okay so coat employee test positive for zika virus so all these things were there in the news okay now next move to next question recently seen in the news which one of the following species of plant belongs to the category of critically endangered status so basically it is what it is referring to about the iucn status okay and if we find the what is the correct answer lysionotus namachomi basically this is one of the plant or one of the basically this is an epiphytic plant epiphytic plant basically it means what can anybody tell me that what is an epiphytic plant so basically it means that it grows in air now how does a plant grows in air basically it will either suppose for example in any of the rock in any of the, when two bricks are there there is a space is there so it will come out from that it doesn't requires any kind of soil or water okay within the gaps it will develop its root yes so vijaylal you have said rightly that it is basically having a hanging root and recently this why this species was in news because it has been discovered recently in the arunachal pradesh so just you need to remember about this its classification in which state it is related to okay so remember and the classification of the plant okay so here the correct answer is option b new species of epiphytic plant discovered in arunachal pradesh this was the context okay and remember try to remember this figure also now consider the following statement about odonata species in india odonata species in india they are largely concentrated in the biodiversity hotspot of western ghat and the northeast india they are used as indicators for environmental health and conservation management as they cannot survive in polluted water cannot survive in polluted water so basically what is this odonata species basically the dragon flies okay so dragon fly and if we study about their geographical distribution their location in india basically they are concentrated in the western ghats and the northeastern india two of the biodiversity hotspots in india okay so this statement is correct now second statement as they cannot survive in polluted water see majority of these odonata species they thrive in the fresh water but there are some very few are there but the, there are some species are there of this odonata which survive in the polluted water so e, how does it helps in the conservation management because when the scientists have identified that what are those sub species of this odonata which survive only in the polluted water and if they are found then it reflects that the water is getting polluted okay so in other way round they try to help in identification of the what the polluted water so that is a other way round you need to remember this so majority of them survive in the fresh water but some of them are there which survive even in the polluted water also so what do we have to identify we have to identify the correct statement so correct statement is only one statement okay statement one you remember that
So survey in Mudumalai Tiger Reserve, 50 Odonata species identified. So you need to remember this also that in which Tiger Reserve it has been done. So it is the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve. Okay, remember that. Now consider the following pairs. Basically, why this question is there? Lots of cases of wildfires are there. So in that context, you need to remember and many times the UPSC asks question related to places which we are there in the news and their geographic distribution or the geographic location. So Dadia Forest National Park, Rainbow Lake and the Bejaia Forest. Okay, so we have to find out the correct pair. So here if we see the Dadia Forest is located in the Greece. Okay. And the Bejaia forest, it is located in Algeria and the Rainbow Lake is located in Canada. So here only one pair is correctly matched. That is the Rainbow Lake which is there in the Canada. So here the correct answer is option A. Okay. Remember these places, why they were in use? They were in use because of the wildfires which are there and then their geographic location that in which country or further it, you can find out like for example near which stream we are near which river near which mountain they are situated okay so that can be another angle also okay so here why they were in news even that is one of the factor okay so remember this so this is the map is there so that is dadia national park this is basically the rainbow lake and this is the Bejaia which is there in the Algeria. Okay, see it. Now, consider the following countries. Kuwait, Angola, Oman, Kazakhstan, Bahrain, Brunei. How many of the above are members of the OPEC plus? Not OPEC, OPEC plus. So, can you tell me the correct answer for this? Anyone? Can you identify which two countries are not the part of the OPEC? OPEC plus. So, you know, you have to remember this. Okay. Only if, what is the correct answer? Can you tell me that which country is not there? Can anyone? Whether it is 3, 4, 5 or 6. So, Chirag, you are saying it is 5. See, basically you have to, you need to remember that there is a difference between OPEC and OPEC plus. Okay, remember that. Remember this, there is a difference between the countries of the OPEC and the OPEC plus. OPEC plus will not mean that it is OPEC plus country. It is, it is having a group of 10 countries. Okay, and here if we find out that this Kuwait and Angola, they are the part of the OPEC. Kuwait and Angola, they are the part of the OPEC, not of the OPEC plus. And these are the countries which are the part of OPEC plus. These are part of OPEC and these are part of OPEC plus. So similar to that, you can find out that UPSC directly asks question related to this international organization that which of the above are the members of the organization of the Turkic state. So you need to remember all these international institutions and basically in which there the count is very much less or sometimes they can ask you about even the G20 also. So there, so there you have to identify some kind of logics. Through logic you have to solve those questions. Okay. Those where we are having 4, 5 country, 7 country, 10 country, yes we can remember it. But for example if 20 country is there. So it becomes very much difficult, but at that point of time of difficulty, remember that it is not the question of difficulty, it is the question of your intelligence. Whenever difficult question is there, basically UPSC has some trick in there. And if you, you utilize, if you cautiously see, you will find out that the answer lies in there also. Okay. So don't lose your patience at that point of time. Ki yaar, ye kaise solve karenge? Abhi itna this state ko kon yaad karega? Yes, yes. But you need to identify some kind of things. You need to identify it. Okay. So here, what is the correct answer? Here it is the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, option B is the correct answer. 
so saudi arabia russia to continue additionally voluntary oil cuts this is the context why it was it there in the news so here you can see this is the opec and this is the opec plus okay now recently seen in the news lost and the damage fund is related to which of the following institution loss and the damage fund basically it is related to the world bank in the cop 27 which was held in the egypt egypt this the announcement for the formation of this loss and damage fund was announced okay so and basically what is the use of this loss and the damage fund basically to tackle the climate crisis so whatever the devastations or disasters which happened due to climate crisis especially in the vulnerable countries and the developing countries the world bank try to assist those countries okay so remember this that why it was in news which is the agency and in what context it was formed so you should remember this cop 27 which was held at the egypt also you should remember this part also other information you need to remember but when it was formed how it was formed you need to remember that context also okay so world bank is the agency for that now developing countries open to locating loss and damage fund in world bank this is the context what is the loss and the damage fund so it is there okay you study this now pradhan mantri garib kalyan an yojana pradhan mantri garib kalyan an yojana under this scheme fixed food grain is given to eligible beneficiaries covered under the national food security act under the scheme antyoday an yojana category who are eligible for the scheme are identified as per the criteria evolved by the state government so can you identify now basically this pradhan mantri garib kalyan an yojana under the atmanirbhar bharat scheme providing rations basically to the migrants and to the laborers and to the poor it was there so in addition to whatever the amount the government is giving under the pds under the national food security act additional 5 kg of wheat food food grain is given to the laborers and to the migrants and to all the eligible beneficiaries which are part of this under which are covered the, under the national food security act now if you will study it plainly but you have to read it very cautiously fixed food grain fixed food grain it means that if wheat is decided then to every state wheat will be given if rice is decided then to every state only rice will be given no the food grain the amount is there but it the fixed food grain is not there it is variable this is variable like for example many states are there in which wheat will be given and many states are there in which rice will be given so food grain is variable basically so if you are reading it in very speed you will see that okay kitna easy question hai, but there is a catch isn't it about quantity yes even there is a variation in quantity also because some for example 5 kg will be there then in some state they are having this margin of the 2 then 3 kg also so even in terms of the food grain and its quantity both in terms they are variable there is not a fixed quantity remember that if you study and go through the pm kalyan garib kalyan yojana website you will find that they have written this that the amount and the grain is variable in nature so that is why fixed it is not fixed remember that to some state wheat is given and to some state rice is given so food grain is not fixed so that is why this statement is incorrect under the scheme antyoday an yojana category who are eligible for the scheme are identified as per the criteria evolved by the state government you need to remember that for the antyoday an yojana the beneficiaries are identified by the state government but the criteria is given by the central government the criteria for the identification of the antyoday an yojana is given by the central government not the state government remember this point 
okay in many things are there under the national food security act that where the government identifies and the criteria is also evolved by the state government but this is one of the area where identification is done by the by the state government but the criteria is given by the central government remember this part okay so both the statement are correct so what is the correct op option option d is the correct answer okay yes yes it is right vijay you have said right for antyoja community quantity varies yes definitely so that is why it is not fixed right that is why it is not fixed okay so because some will have some will have 9 kg some will have 8 kg some will have 11 kg so depending upon that there will be variability will be there okay yes so this was all for today's class the 10 mcq you try to go through the pdf file you revise it okay five year extension for free ration the members behind the food security program okay try to revise this and try to again go through this and if you have any kind of question all of you can ask okay so i am ending the session here does anyone have any kind of query question and one of the thing i would like to know you that for this month i will be taking the dtrs session okay for this month i am going to take it yes any question any query no okay so let us end the session and we will meet again tomorrow okay at the same time okay